Hi everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, this is going to be on passing a ball. Um, really important that we get um, the different passes um, down properly um, before we start trying to go with the fancy skill passes. So the fundamental basic pass is just a ball with no spin on it. I know everyone loves to spin it or throw it out the back of the hand and do all those things. I'll teach that but we get this right and then we go with the others. If we don't and we muddle between the two as you'll see um, you'll never have a great pass. You'll sometimes throw a good one sometimes not because you're not um, giving your brain, telling your muscle how to pass certain types of ball. So here we go. What we want to do is we're going to train it and give it clear guidance on how we want to move a ball. So to pass a ball with no spin on it, we get our hands either side of the ball, just like that. And then when we pass the ball, we're going to get those shoulders to turn in the direction we want to pass. But the first thing that goes, what fundamental basics, is little detail make big differences. The ball is here, I've just received the ball. The ball is here, my head goes first. That's often where the problems happen, is people throw the ball and look at the same time or slightly late. So then they don't gauge where the player is. So again, repeat, 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 and then it becomes normal and people look at you and go, how do you manage to, how do you see what ball to throw? So keeping your hands here, head goes first. Head goes first, then go. So watch here, catch the ball, head. So I'm practicing again, going through the basics, getting one element down at a time. Head goes first, then hands. On this side, head goes first, then hands. Now, what we want to do as well is if you think of a, of a gun. So a pistol is uh, not accurate, as accurate as a rifle. Why? Because the barrel of a rifle is longer. When you see sniper rifles in movies or things like that, they've got really long barrels. Keeps that bullet going in a straight line for longer. Same when we move our hands. A good friend of mine, Stuart White from South Africa, he was the person um, I always wanted to be able to pass like him. I still can't, as well as he can. But if you watch the way he played and moved, very smooth, ball was always exactly where you wanted it and could throw short or long balls, no problem. And exactly in the right place. But he gets his fundamentals right. So his movement, what I learned very quickly, is what he does, there's a lot of elements, but one of the things what I noticed very early on is his extension of his arms. So overemphasizing the arm movement. So really get long arms. So if you practice long arms, you see it now, especially in New Zealand, um, rugby, international rugby, you watch their training. Their training, they extend and hold their arms out like that once they finish. So if you pause at the end with, with long arms, um, after a while that'll be a habit and you'll automatically do it. You might feel strange doing it at the start, but I promise you it is hugely vital for getting high percentage balls to your partner um, or your person to your right or left. And everyone wants to play with somebody who passes great ball. So here we go. So here, hands here, what goes first? Head. Head, then hands. Catch the ball. Remember when you also catch the ball, use the palm of your hand. If you get with the fingers, you bang your fingers or the ball bounces off. If it's soft, get the palmy hand. Same when we use other balls, cricket balls, tennis balls, all those sort of things. Soft hand, you get hit your palm of your hand. So your hands here and pass. If you're just learning, catching that ball is just um, catching it this way. Fingers down, palms up. More advanced, fingers up, palms down. But watch that ball and again practice catching the ball, watching it into your hands before you go through to your next move. Feet as well, really important, is that we are balanced. Balanced. That's what I was saying with my friend Stuart White. He's very balanced when he plays. Catches the ball, nicely balanced and shifts the ball. So just nice and stationary, get someone on left and right, catch and pass. If you've got nobody, like I don't today, just practice even doing this. Because this is practicing doing the correct skill, but what you don't realize, what you're practicing as well, is faking the ball. So become good, like a good actor. Good actor draws you and makes you think that it's real. So practice making it, use those wrists and use those arms. Head goes first, head goes first. Sometimes just even doing that makes the player go. My head's up, I'm looking, I can see what they're doing, I can see my partner, everything is in front of me. Again, if I've got this down, 
as part of what I do, as part of my artillery, um, then I don't have to concentrate on it anymore. I can concentrate on what that player is doing in this one. So suddenly I'm seeing more what's going on in front of me. I hope that's helpful. Um, to advance for that, um, this I learned from my friend Stuart as well, Stuart White. Um, to add a little bit of speed to your ball. If you don't see it as the opposition. Often this type of ball um, is not as quick as a spin pass. But you can disguise it to go quicker by just putting those fingers behind the ball. And when you pass, you flick them. You flick them forward behind the ball and it adds a little bit more power to the ball. And you can get the wrists engaged and you start to really wing that ball. So that's another little thought you can add in. So fingers behind and flick it through here like this, go in that movement. And you can practice it, even passing to yourself. Just flick it up. Hope that's helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful, please give it a, a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, really appreciate it if you did. Share it with other touch rugby players, people who find this helpful. And get the fundamentals right. Even if you've been playing for a while, or you could be playing at an international level, but you have a look at those basics. Are you getting those basics right? You want to polish it. You want to polish your skill level, basics, get them right, and then you can really rock it in your, in your touch rugby. Hope you have a great day, and hope to see you in the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.